Hi guys, welcome back. This is an update for the OnePlus 3 users. So, OnePlus has released a new update for the OxyOS, which is named as a 4.0.2. So, it is applicable for both 3 and 3T, but there will be a separate download link available. So, as of now, according to the company, it is rolled via OTA. So, you can get that. So, there is a way I'm going to show you how you can do that via storing the VPN. So, already I have shown you before, but just want to show you guys again. And also, there is an another way called the local upgrade. I'll make a new video for that. So, right now, as you can see, I'm here on this uh, 4.2.1. This is OnePlus 3 here. So, I'm just going to do the stuff here. So, already I have uh, connected it here. So, you just need to install the Opera VPN and try to connect to a region, preferably Germany, otherwise, it won't work. So, I've connected to Germany. So, once it is connected, so you need to just uh, go back to here and check for system update. So it may happen for the first time you won't get, you can see, I got the update here, 4.4.2. So we'll just try to stall that. So I'm just going to click on the download here. So we'll see what kind of new fixes and changes are there. So there was a big fix here. So you can see fix Google Play to download box. So because a lot of users are, you know, switching back to the previous version. So. Uh, I hope this OTA and downloading from here should work otherwise in case it is failed it may need to download 1.4 gigabytes of download data again so we'll take a look at that too so you can use this via Opera VPN is free VPN is pretty nice app and by default it will connect to some different region but just change region and connect to Germany again so my internet is pretty great here is download fast so let's go and try to reboot I don't know guys what happened it just rebooted and it kind of hung in the steak uh, I'm being here from four to five minutes I don't know what is going on so I might need to stall the twerp again then because I tried on the stock recovery by downloading system date as we have seen earlier but it's not working so I'll try to stall the uh, twerp here and I will download the complete ROM then I'll try to stall that and let's see uh, whether we're able to stall this 4.2 or not Anyway guys you can see I got this error encryption unsuccessful I don't know what is going on so it's only way said that you need to completely do a factory reset so I lost every data so these things happen if you do these kinds of way if you you can see even the story in the OT update failed this time I don't know what's wrong so I'm just going to reset here you can see it's completely gone all right guys so finally I have done the reset I thought it should be on the 4.0.1 but finally I got the update here so I am on 4.0.2 so I don't know why it happened it took four to five minutes and just rebooting on the same this one plus boot logo so that's why i press a power button so maybe this uh, kind of bug is there it was taking a long time to you know encrypt the data anyway guys in case you're stuck in the same situation so do not try to press the power button let it be there at least for five to ten more minutes uh, who knows you might need to erase everything okay so here we are these are the four out order two so it's a complete new device and uh, let me show you the change log so this is the change log the first stuff is the common here that's android nougat 7.2 and yeah one more important stuff let me show you this is based on still the 7.0 and the security patch level is of december 1 so it looks like a, a company has just put some bug fixes here but we have the play store and all the stuff so the two major changes that happen here is a fixed play store downloading bug and a fixed proximity sensor bug during calls and this is some system you know improvement of those kind of for the OS let me just download a quick thing here so I just came here and if I just go to some place and try to download some app here let's see I downloaded this and uh, notification hub let's see we are able to download something from the play store or not so yeah it's working pretty fine installing everything else so all works great now let me just show you guys here uh, about this calling bug so I'm just going to make a call on this number and we will check this proximity sensor is working or not. I got my landline here. Just making call. So I'm getting this here. I'm just going to click answer. So call is going on. I'm just going to see. So the proximity sensor is working fine. Not an issue. So the two major bugs that were there for this uh, Play Store download bug and all the stuff like calling proximity sensor is fixed. Now uh, battery wise uh, I've heard a lot of comments uh, people are getting 4 hours of screen on time so uh, I guess beta 7.0 is still not getting great battery back but anyway guys it's fine. In case you're thinking your dash charges are really great you can make sure to watch my previous dash charging check video. 
so 77% approx 2 hours so guys on the summary uh, we have seen change log and how to install that so couple of things you have to do first off in case uh, you are on the official 4.0.1 uh, uh, you have to install this 4.0.2 you need to connect to the opera vpn select germany by default netherlands is selected it's not working so select germany install it so it may happen first time it will download the ota the ota may fail but anyways uh, if it fails it will download the complete uh, factory rom which should be side of near 1.4 gigabytes so once it has downloaded and uh, keep it uh, let it be there when it's once it is rebooting otherwise uh, you may get some encryption issues and you need to format everything here so leave it for at least five to ten minutes go ahead and take off and do all the stuff came back here once it is done you can see you have got the oxygen os 4.0.2 now uh, in case you are on the open beta build so uh, adb side load won't work toward won't work so you need to go back to the marshmallow so kind of lot of procedures are there so i'm working on a local upgrade package method i was trying on my oneplus 3t it was not working so i'm not going to try that out here because already i have installed i will show you a new method again how to do the local upgrade on the 3 in 3t in case you're an open beta build how you can install that so that's it guys uh, a quick update for oneplus 3 oxygen is 4.0.2 so everything is working stay tuned let me in the comments what kind of issues you are getting maybe if i have any solution i will let you guys know that's it for this video this is sarab i'll catch you next video have a great day